Ivy Myers, Northtown Neighbor News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at www.ntnn.org. You can find all our videos there, over 240,000 watched at this point, and the counter finally started working again. It's probably about 350, but whatever. Um, it's a free service from YouTube. Community Policing, caps24.org. You can find all the schedules for West Rogers Park and Rogers Park. It is a pleasure to introduce you for her second appearance on the show, somebody who actually made a very good splash first time around, got a lot of really good comments. Uh, Peggy Shapiro, how are you? Mm. Good, good to see you again. First of all, my pleasure, thank you for coming. Thank you. And um, you are with Stan, or you are actually pretty much running Stan with us Chicago. Right, I actually stand with us Midwest. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're expanding already. <laughs> We're ex well, the Midwest is a territory from the border of Canada through Texas. That's a big Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> well, we divided up the country into yeah. uh, three sections. So uh, I do the community uh, organization for uh, the Midwest section. Very cool. Yeah, that is a... I, I, I once saw one other Jewish organization include Texas and the Midwestern whatever, but uh, I guess that's because there are Jews in Texas and there aren't so, so many around there. They've got to be included somewhere. Well, mm -hmm. the thing is, we are not just a Jewish organization. We are a pro-Israel. You know, and you're right. And it's, and it's, it's, it's interesting because uh, Danielle Rowe, who is not Jewish, um, actually approached me to try to help get publicity for something that you were doing. And yeah, you got some really strong support in non-Jewish circles. Absolutely, and in fact, that was when we were organizing the rally in solidarity for Israel, and Danielle was a big help. Yeah. And she mm -hmm. was out there fighting the good fight. Uh, in fact, we have a new high school program where we train student leaders, and so that they will go on to be leaders in their high school, in the colleges, and then in their communities. And our Midwest coordinator of the high school program is Vita Velasco, and she is uh, a Christian yeah. who is dedicated 100% to the strong U.S.-Israel relationship. Very cool. Yeah. So we do go to a lot of Jewish places, but um, it's certainly not only Jewish. We partner with many groups. In fact, in June, uh, the end of June, I will be addressing about 100 pastors wow. in Rockford. And recently I had a breakfast and a lunch uh, for pastors, and it was called Seeking Leaders for Such a Time as This. And I thought, you know, 10 would show up, 12, yeah. I had 80. Wow. So there are really strong, strong pro-Israel voices out there in the general community. It doesn't have to be Jewish. It's an American value, it's a human value, so we have a lot of support. Very cool, no, that does sound great. Now, um, and I know, not to mention the fact that the, the big rally downtown was yours. I mean, you, you mentioned it before, but you know, that, that was the largest gathering of, this, of that sort for quite some time. Right, we sort of stimulated it and then the JUF was, used their muscle yeah. to get behind it. It was a huge rally and it just shows you the support is there. And what I think we do best is the education for the support. Because most people get their information from a little online blog or the mainstream media and they're really not informed. And even those that are pro-Israel are often frustrated because they hear crazy arguments um, against Israel to divest and boycott and so on. And so we are there as a resource for information. And in fact, that's, I just brought you a, a sample. If you're ever in an argument. Well, let's hold it, Sonny, you want it? Yeah. Uh, you got it? Okay. If you're ever in an argument and you know you've, the other person is wrong, yeah. and you just need that basic, well, we have the 25 answers you need. And if you're a little more ambitious, we have Israel 101. You finish yeah. this and you can be a, a leader. And I carry the Hamas charter in every oh, purse. Cool. People don't realize, I mean, basically it says, kill all the Jews, right. destroy Israel. So when people say, why doesn't Israel want to talk to Hamas? I hand them the charter. Yeah. All these materials are available online. You can download them. I just hand them the charter. I said, read this and then tell me what there is to talk about. Yeah. 
So. You're 100 percent right. And listen, I I get glue in the face preaching to people about that stuff. And I, I watched. Um, I don't want to date exactly when this is or who I was talking about, but I was listening to a political speech yesterday, and I frankly wanted to yell at the TV when I was listening to that guy. <laughs> um, I we are not a political organization, so I'm I know not, that's why I'm, I'm not nice free. About it. <laughs> I'm not free to comment on that. Um, but we try to do yeah. a very important task, yeah. and that is to confront lies, to f confront misconceptions. And the greatest place where the battle is taking place now, of course, it's with the IDF and they're facing um, missiles and so forth, but a big front for this battle is on our campuses. And that's where the next generation leaders and policymakers are going to be, on our campuses. And so we have to try to get facts into that discussion. And it's not an easy thing to do, both because of very strong anti-Israel organizations and because of the college professors who are there. And I was a college professor for 31 years, but yeah. many of them there are not there so much to educate as to uh, indoctrinate. Yeah, that's, that's putting it 100. Yeah, and, I agree with you. <laughs> and so we are there. We even have an app on a smartphone. Yeah. If your teacher's talking nonsense and you know you want to say something but you don't know what it is, you do uh, askisrael.org cool. and you can have a real-time debate. And if we don't have the answer, you said ask a professor and within 24 hours a professor will get back to you. So you can go to the next class and say, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that and I've got an answer to it. So all these materials are there so people can be informed. And where's the website again? It's uh, www.standwithus.com. www.standwithus.com. You've also got an upcoming event. Yes. We are just finishing, going to be finishing up with our tour of Israeli soldiers. They're going to hundreds of campuses. Yeah. And, speaking, and then uh, Ambassador Yoram Edinger is coming on March 10th. He will be at uh, Temple Bethel in Northbrook, and he's going to be talking about Israel and U.S., what you don't know but should. Yeah. And he is a brilliant thinker. Um, he doesn't give the standard message. He really does a great analysis of the situation. And so he's going to frame his topic with what is going on March 9th. Ah. And what's happening on the ground in politics with the president's visit, upcoming visit to Israel. And he's probably one of the best analysts I've ever heard. And so he's going to be there at 7 o'clock. Where is this here? Um, it's Temple Beth El in Northbrook. It's on Dundee. And you have to look it up, but you, you right. can look it up our site as well. And uh, it really promises to be a very good program. No, that sounds absolutely terrific, and people should look for it. By the way, also, this is probably the appropriate time. I just wanted to congratulate my nephew, Nuckle, who just joined the IDF. Mazel tov. So, you know, Mazel tov. Ter terrific kid, and we wish you all the best. Um, okay, this is basically closing time, so I want to thank you very much. And thank Peggy you Shapiro. so much. Thank, thank you. you. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. I want to thank Sonny Hirsch, my entire technical crew. I want to thank all of you for joining us. Um, standwithus.org to get all no, of... dot com. Standwithus.com. Sorry about that to get all the various materials. Um, thank you once again for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Sunny. And stick around. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.